Hi, welcome to the world of analytics. My name is Bob and I will be taking you a tour to the world of analytics. This course is basically a startup course and it's for everyone. In this course, you don't have to be a mathematician or a statistician. The concept of this course is designed in simple way yet with useful techniques to analyze hidden insights and patterns. Analytics is everywhere and we see it every day. Let me give you some interesting example. Netflix uses analytics to select movies, create content, and make multi-million dollar decisions. Netflix uses algorithm that would improve the accuracy of predictions about how much someone is going to enjoy a movie based on their movie preferences. Netflix analytics go only as far as views. They may also think that the show House of Cards was chosen because Netflix through subscribers might like it, but the truth is much much deeper. The million dollar show wasn't green lighted solely because it seemed like a good spot. The decision was based on a number of factors and seemingly almost entirely on data. The reality is that Netflix is a data driven company saying that Netflix chooses new content based on whoever they can get a license with. It's a very thin and vague statement. Netflix does need licenses from studios, but they don't just pick movie and television shows at random. Amazon. It's hard to discuss about analytics success stories without mentioning Amazon. They are among the early adopters and are the only company that have patent that allows them to ship goods before an order has been placed. How about the recommendation that we see in the side of our Amazon page is also powered by analytics. So, what is analytics? A systematic computation analysis of data or statistics or information resulting from systematic analysis of data or statistics. In simple way, we can say analytics is the study of the historical data to understand the pattern and find new insights to predict the future. And the sources of data, literally, it's everywhere. Internet, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, GPS, car transactional data. Since 2013, the number of Twitter posts increased 25% to more than 35,000 tweets per minute. YouTube users has more than tripled in the last two years with users uploading 400 hours of new content video each minute of every day. Instagram users like 2.5 posts every minute. Facebook users also click the like button on more than 4 million posts every minute. That's nearly 6 billion Facebook posts liked each day. Around 4 million Google searches are conducted worldwide each minute of every day. Finally, data sent and received by mobile internet users is in terabytes. So the amount of data present in this world will increase day by day and the need of analytics to analyze that data. Analytics is needed in every domain, from medical to pharma industries, to understand the behavior of the patients and diseases so that they test it in the lab with higher accuracy before they implement it in real. Finance and banking industries. Analytics play an important role by analyzing the credit worthiness of their clients. Telecom uses analytics to understand the churn rate and provide better service with minimum cost. In marketing, one can practice measuring, managing, and analyzing marketing performance to maximize its effectiveness and optimize return on investment (ROI). Research and to almost infinity, and it has been declared as the sexiest job of the 21st century. Concerned about salary, it can easily cross $100,000 with one year of experience. In LinkedIn itself, an average phone shortage of analysts every 12 hours. Let's recap what we have learned so far. So far, we have learned what is analytics, where and how it is used and where does it come from, that is, the sources of data. Next, we will learn the types of analytics and the structures of data.